So I think that uh, for a long time uh, it's been clear that, that burning fossil fuels and spewing that into the atmosphere is likely to affect the, uh, it'll affect the environment. Uh, and so that's why uh, I've increasingly listened to the science and listened to the experts where it uh, increasingly becomes evident that, uh, that we as, as, a, as a humanity really needs to take good care and be, be good custodians of, of this island uh, and this planet uh, for the next generation. And I'm a strong believer that the opportunity for the Isle of Man is not necessarily to change the temperature of the whole planet, but rather to, to be a beacon uh, when the rest of the world is facing stormy seas, to be a good example for the rest of the world to follow. So the best thing that uh, any individual or any family can do is to reduce uh, the amount of stuff that is burned uh, to, to feed our, our energy needs. And so, for example, that's why as an individual, uh, many residents of Douglas East will have seen me riding my bike around town. You know, it's the first step, not just for protecting the environment, but also for uh, reducing the, the strain on, on parking locally. Uh, and, so, and so I think that really goes to the heart of the matter, is that individuals have to make decisions about how best to lead their lives uh, and to do the best that they can. So in the, here in the Isle of Man, we have a very low uh, proportion of electricity that uses renewable energy. About 1% of electricity used on the Isle of Man uh, comes out of the Solby uh, hydroelectric plant. Uh, and so that's why, as a candidate for Douglas East, I want to see that all houses, all households, have the right to demand from their electricity provider that uh, energy be renewable. Uh, and so I think that, that that is something that we really need to fix for the, for the future. So